Daisy and Poppy go bananas. I'm taking our wands away and putting them in the cupboard. <laughs> Mummy is right. No more wands until you learn to use them properly. Ah, oh, finally, a bit of peace and quiet. Oh, who's that? Um, Granny Thistle is here. Oh no, my mother! Granny Thistle! Granny! Granny! Darlings, 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 marvellous to see you. Holly, give your granny a hug. <laughs> Hello, Granny Thistle. Oh, young Ben Elf, always a pleasure to see you. <laughs> What's wrong with the twins? Why are you so sad? Wandy, Wandy. <gasps> Where are your wands? I've taken them away for now. But how will they do magic without wands? Uh, maybe it's better if Daisy and Poppy don't do magic. Well, they're your children, darling, and the last thing I want to do is interfere. At least Holly has a wand. Oh, yes. Holly's having magic lessons from me. What have you learned, Holly? I can turn people into frogs. Or rabbits. Frogs? You're still on frogs? And rabbits. But that's baby magic. What about the hard stuff, like putting pink spots in the sky? Or making the trees sing? La, 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 la. No, thank you, Mother. We don't have much need for singing trees. La, la. Or pink spots in the sky. Okay, you're the boss. Anyway, I brought presents. Presents for the children. Presents! Holly, I brought you this beautiful ring. Thank you. Is it magical? Um, maybe a little. Just don't rub it, okay? Okay. And for Daisy and Poppy, two grown-up wands. Wandy, Wandy. But we've just taken their wands away. Yes, it's lucky I came when I did. These wands belonged to your great grandparents, Vlad the Powerful and Sharon the Totally Insane. Not dangerous, are they? Only as dangerous as the person who waves them. <laughs> right, I think we'd better put these straight in the cupboard. Oh, well, of course, you know best. Aww. And it's past your bedtime. Mm. Come on, up to bed. Now for your bedtime story. Little Bunny Bunting. Darling, would you mind awfully if I read the twins the story? Uh, oh, yes, of course. How kind. But uh, try not to get them too excited. They're meant to be going to sleep. Of course. Leave it to me. Once upon a time, there lived a rabbit called Little Bunny Bunting. Sounds a bit boring to me. <laughs> This is the book that I had when I was a little girl. Crazy spells for the under fives. <laughs> Spell number one, how to make a storm. Ooh. What a day. Where's Granny now? Uh, she's with the twins. Oh, is that such a good idea? On to me, with the wands. <laughs> Wandy. No wands? Oh, of course. Mummy and Daddy knew best and took your wands away. Never mind. Here's mine. Wandy. Say, thunder, thunder, thunder. Thunder, thunder, thunder. Something to do with Granny. Hello, is Holly coming out to play? Hello, Ben. She'll be down in a minute. Did you hear the storm last night? Hear it? It was in our bedroom. A storm in a bedroom? Cool. It was a magical storm. Good morning, Mother. I already know the answer to this, but who showed them how to make a magical storm? Me. What a surprise. Only a little indoor weather, darling. Nothing to worry about. What else did you teach them? Oh, just a few harmless little spells. Hi, everyone. Hello, Holly. Morning, Ben. Ah, why are there...
two hollies. Daisy and Poppy did a spell on me. We asked them not to, but they did it anyway. This is what happens when Daisy and Poppy do magic. So it's a little doubling spell. No harm done. It's not like there's ten hollies. And if there were, wouldn't that be nice? Wandy, Wandy! Where did they get the wand from? Oh, it seems to be my wand. Bye-bye! <laughs> They've disappeared! The twins have escaped! <laughs> They're out in the wild! Sound the Daisy and Poppy alarm! Oh, this is all a big farce over nothing. Oh, yes! The twins are out there somewhere, and they've got your wand! What other spells did you teach them? Uh, I did mention something about walking trees. Tree go walkies! Walkies! Daddy, trees are walking towards the little castle! I don't want to hear it! It's like a bad dream! I suppose this is your doing, Nanny Palum. No, it was Granny Thistle. Hello there. Granny Thistle, I might have known. It's been a long time, Cedric. Not long enough, Millicent. You always were a troublemaker. Yes, Mother, you started this. Now you have to sort it out. Okay, you're the boss. I just think children should have a bit of fun, that's all. There's good fun and bad fun. This is bad fun. My goodness, Daisy and Poppy, you're a long way from home. Bunny Rabbit! Eddie! Froggy! Ah! Daisy and Poppy are going bananas! <laughs> bananas! I'm a banana! <laughs> oh, darling! There you are! I see you've been doing lots of bad magic. Good. <laughs> Holly, I think it's time for you to rub that ring now. What's she saying? The ring? Rub the ring? I think she's saying rub the ring. But didn't you say not to rub the ring? I've changed my mind. It's not good fun anymore. Rub the ring. All right, here we go. <laughs> in the little castle and everything's back to normal no walking trees or spots in the sky yes holly rubbed the magic ring it turned everything back as it was that is some powerful ring yes the ring belonged to your great grandfather neville the naughty <laughs> the little darlings. They're all tired out. Story! Story! You'd like a story? Of course, my darlings. Dangerous magic for toddlers. How long is my mother staying for? Two weeks. Chapter one. How to turn mice into dragons. <laughs> dragon! Dragon! <laughs>